Well, Bob, I'll see you, man. That's it. That's it. Thanks, man. You hold in there. Okay. I'm hurting. I'll be honest with you. I'm hurting for the fact that I don't want to leave, but my body says I have to leave. You know, the brain says no, but the body says I can't take it anymore, so. But uh, after a while, I'll find something else, you know, that's, it won't be too strenuous on me as far as I'm getting up early and moving around, then worried about how Bev's going to be and making sure her car is running and everything. But other than that, I'll find something, so. Okay, man. Take care. You too now, man. Okay. You know, it really, it just, it seemed like all of a sudden it hit me. This is it, Percy. You know, when I went out before, you know, I was going out because I felt it was time, you know, this and the other. And I found out it wasn't time. But now I'm going out and don't want to go out. And it kind of, it just, all of a sudden just kind of hit me at once. Hey, Percy, uh, you're getting old. You're getting old. And uh, no one wants to get old. No one wants to get old. We are uh, here actually to recognize Percy's departure from the paid working world. Married for 20 years uh, to Beverly, four generations, 48 grandchildren, 12 great grandchildren, and a cancer survivor amidst, amongst all that. So, uh, you know, certainly, certainly active life. I want to move on. I want to thank you all. I want to thank God that I met you all. And uh, I won't forget none of you. I, won't for I will not forget none of you. A lot of you have my number. If you don't, you can get it from me. And once again, thank you very much. My wish for the future is right now that... <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I don't have a wish for the future. Only thing I can say is Every day that I wake up is a good wish. Every day that I wake up is a good wish.